So there's a new hamburger spot that opened up here in Houston and the CEO of that burger spot is Bun B, a very famous and local rapper. And a lot of people went to check out the burgers. They said they got all kinds of signature burgers and things like that, even vegan burgers if you are a vegan. Well, someone was not happy with the service that they received. And it wasn't even really that there was a service, it was the product. And a woman by the name of Demetra A. Washington said this. Now, as I read it, I want y'all to look at the photos. So my son went to Trill Burgers on 621 and asked if I wanted a burger and I said, sure, I'll try it. This is what they sold him. My expectations for this place was not met at all. Not bashing the place, but I did reach out and no response. Yes, that is the meat burned and very thin. I'm sure Mr. Bun B is not aware that they are selling this type of service. Then she went on to update, I'm entitled to post what I want. I'm not taking it down. Please stop with this black people bashing another black business. Not true. My money, my opinion. So within the comment section, yes, there were quite a few people uh, not happy with her bashing a black business, as they would say, um, saying that you don't do that to McDonald's or anywhere else. It's only us that do it to each other, right? Now, if you're like me and you looked at the photos, you're like, mm, no, I'm not going to eat that. And I would not have wanted to pay for it. Now, she says she reached out to him, but nobody responded back. So she went on to post it. But Bun B did a response to what she said. And he said this. We here at Trill Burgers work very hard to make sure every customer has a grade A dining experience. We care about the people who go through the trouble of coming to our establishment and stand in line in 100 degree weather to get our product. 99% of the time we do meet our own very high standards of quality, but we are human and we will from time to time make a mistake. But it's important that we acknowledge those mistakes and work to correct them. It's very easy to fix in the building, but much harder once you've left. We hope Mrs. Washington gives us another chance to make it right for her. And we'd ask that every person please check their order before they leave so we can fix it here in real time on the spot while making sure that we double and triple check everything before we hand it over. We're only three weeks old, so bear with our growing pain. Sincerely, Bond B. And I'm gonna say this just right off the top. I love his response because he's right. Of course, a lot of times when you're doing a grand opening, there are gonna be mistakes made. Uh, people are learning as they go. And plus he's very famous and a lot of people want to check it out. So yeah, like I said, people are standing in line and I'm sure the staff was under a lot of pressure, not making excuses for them at all, right? But I agree with a lot of people, and this has nothing to do with Demetra. I think she's entitled to her opinion because I wouldn't have wanted to pay, um, from what I understand, there's a lot of money for some of those burgers. I wouldn't want to pay for that. She's entitled to her opinion. But the other thing too is, sometimes we do give Taco Bell, McDonald's, and everybody else a pass, right? But if a black business forgets a napkin, oh my God, we go all up on the social media talking about how we didn't get all our napkins and this, that, and the other, opposed to doing like he said, because oh, oh, I'm one of those people, y'all. I'm going to check my bag before I leave. I'm not going to get all the way home and then open up the bag and be like, wow, I ordered, you know, no tomatoes and I got a tomato sandwich, right? He's right. Check the bag before you leave to make sure that your order is correct. So that way, if it's not you can go to the counter and say, hey, um, this is not right. I did order something else and they can fix it, right? But when you leave, it's kind of hard to do because now you're home, you're mad, you probably travel the distance away from the restaurant and you're upset that you got a charcoal burger, right? So he had the right response. Please let us make it right. Hopefully they offered her, you know, a free meal or two for what happened to her. But one of my favorite memes is I had a bad experience with a black owned business and I'm going to go back until we get it right, right? As the customer, I want to give a black owned business another opportunity to get it right, right? I'm not going to go to social media and everybody else I know and say, oh, don't go there. They're horrible. This, that, and the other. When we continuously go to a lot of white establishments, Hispanic, Asian, or whatever, and they jack up our order all the time, and we don't say nothing about them on social media. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.